Welcome. You haven't heard or seen me in a long time. Lots of things have changed. I've moved. My mother passed away. My hair has turned silver. Yeah, or I just let it go, which actually I really like. And I've been teaching on Zoom for quite a long time. Hey, but Peaches is still with me. Say hi, Peaches. Hello. So this is my setup. I'm teaching adult ballet in my kitchen, which is pretty cool. The other night we were uh, filming, or not filming, we were, I was teaching and I heard an owl hooting outside in between the pauses and the music between the combinations. So I kind of live more in a, not really a rural area, but up in the hills. And uh, so I just clear out the kitchen table and you can see sort of my little space, very small. So just like lots of us, we're working in small spaces and it's working. So welcome. And press roll. Just little prances. Six, seven, eight. I'm gonna add every third one a little curve of the spine. Two, three, curve. So tuck your head in. And one. Shoulders down. Seven. Let's repeat those curved ones. One. Now lift up each time. Tread through those feet. Curve. And six, seven, curve. Take one step back. Stretching that calf from the long line. The hip flexor is lengthening as well. Six, seven, straight. Change legs. One, two, three. I went on a nice long hike today. I can feel my calves. <laughs> Feeling tight. Switch. And one. Hips nice and square. Yeah, get your weight mostly on the front leg and then shift back a little, plie into the back leg slightly. Get that deeper calf. Extend. Change. One. Two. Three. Toes pointing straight ahead. Good. And shorten the base a little bit if you need to. Plie. Straighten. And then just roll down both legs straight, shoulders and hips square. Three, four. And drop your head. Just let it hang. Six, seven, eight. Step together and change legs. Two, three. Let that head hang. Now don't let the back hip go open, but make sure it's coming forward. And both hands on the floor, legs are parallel. And stretch, uh, and plie, kind of like that angry cat stretch. So when you come up, pull your belly in a little bit, curve, roll, and one, curve. Without hyperextending the knees, just walk up your legs, roll your shoulders. Find the breath. I'm circling outward. And seven, eight. Now let's reverse the shoulders. And three, four. Circle. Seven, then you'll step back into whatever your apparatus is. Mine's a kitchen island. And it could be your chair or your bar if you're lucky. And Knees are pretty close together. I don't want to be like this. Alignment is straight. Switch legs. And two. I hope you can hear the music well. So it's nice, relaxing to start your class with. Now let's go ahead and take opposite. Hold on to something for sure. Take your opposite toe, pull it up under your seat, and then open this knee back. Stretch up tall. And switch sides. Pull that up so it's just a different angle of stretching the quads, kind of opening the hip flexor. That's it. Now if you can, grab your foot and take it up to a little tiny attitude. So it's not really an attitude stretch, it's a shoulder stretch. So if this is causing you to go forward, only go as forward as tall as you can without losing your posture. So you're going to open the shoulder. And then switch to the other leg, since I didn't do it on the first side, we'll be even 
lift that up, so stretching the shoulder out. This is where the stretch is happening. Good. Can you feel that, everybody? So here's my position. I'm not turned out on the standing leg. Side. First position. Heels together. Dabby looking into the palm. fifth low. The arm 
Duvon goes under and open. So plie under and open to a forward place. And then look to the bar. And if you just want to close your long, you can just keep your head straight. But definitely going under. So under is here, over, but it's continuing to the bottom. So I said under. Okay. All righty. Second side. Six, seven, two, three, eight. I go under. Not 
support the other leg. Yeah, so important about that standing leg. Base pivot, extend three, hold. Bring it back on your knees. Pause it. And up, stay there this time. Plie, stretch that leg, reach. stand here instead of like that's over <laughs> up okay. the secret to it is like I've said a million times is shying away from the passe so that you would end up like this and feeling off your leg so if you just go ahead be confident hold your core more put your body right on top of that leg up oh, that was easy okay that was some easier for me okay it's gonna be easier for you too put your body up yes maybe good so you have to be adventurous. Take your core with you, put your shoulders right on top of that leg. Roll, lift, yes, almost shelly. Just melt. Think of this leg as, as you're melting. You're gonna roll and keep that hip connected. That's part of it, don't let go up here. So here's a quick small space tip. Turn your center work on the diagonal. That's what I had to do in order for my students to see me. And it gave me a lot more space, it kind of worked. For a second, keep the posse in back. Seven, eight, and posse, two feet. Put your body on top, melt. Pas de bure, stay at plie, suit to new in place. Pique posse, two feet. Up, melt. Pas de bure, two feet. Open, flat. One pique posse, one pique turn. Releve. Well, thanks for tuning in. I enjoy doing this as kind of experiment to film a Zoom class. If you want to see more of my Zoom small space classes, do comment below and share with friends. As you know, the more that our videos are shared, the more YouTube will show it to like-minded people like yourself, adult ballet dancers. Thanks again for tuning in. Bye for now.